welcome back to the world of electricity. This presentation is about electrical switches. An electrical switch is any device used to interrupt the flow of electrons in a circuit. Switches are essentially binary devices. They are either completely on, closed, or completely off, open. There are many different types of switches and we will explore some of these types in this presentation. Even though switches are simple things, it's important to understand them for many practical reasons. They are everywhere. They help us in our homes, to travel, to communicate, and to organize our lives. You're probably using switches right now. Switches are the basis of our modern digital technology. Although computers and other digital devices are based on solid-state switches, mostly in integrated circuits, it is very helpful to understand switches based on mechanical contacts so that you can better understand solid-state gate circuits used in computers and other digital devices. The simplest type of switch is one where two electrical conductors are brought in contact with each other by the motion of an actuating mechanism. Other switches are more complex, containing electronic circuits able to turn on or off depending on some physical stimulus, such as light, or a magnetic field. This is a simple knife switch. When the user places the knife lever into the lower contact, electrical energy can flow between the two terminals. While this type of switch is not commonly used today, it is useful for the purpose of showing the basic operation of most switches. This switch has a single moving contact or pole. You can start or stop the electrical flow. You can throw the switch on, which is often called closing the switch contact, or off, which is called opening the contact. This can be confusing. Watch this. This switch is on or closed. Now it is off or open. Remember that when talking about switches, open means off and closed means on. The configuration of this knife switch is called Single Pole Single Throw, or SPST for short. The word pole refers to the moving contact, the lever on this switch. This switch has a single moving contact, so it is called a single pole switch. The throws refers to the stationary contacts. This switch has only one stationary contact position or place to throw the lever, so it has a single throw. Hence it is designated as a single pole single throw or abbreviated SPST. This is a symbol for a single pole, single throw, or SPST switch. Here is another way this symbol might be drawn. The final output of any switch, such as this wall switch, will be at least a pair of wire connection terminals that will be either connected together by the switch's internal contact mechanism, which again is called closed, or the terminals may not be connected together, which is called open. This is another knife switch. It has two moving contacts or poles that you can throw to turn on or close two circuits at the same time. Or you can turn it off or open two circuits at the same time. This switch has two moving contacts, so it is called a double pole switch. It has only one contact position, so it is called a single throw switch. This switch is known as a double pole single throw switch, or abbreviated DPST. The double pole single throw switch is like two separate single pole single throw switches operated by one handle. This is a symbol for a double pole single throw or DPST switch. Notice the dashed line. It indicates that the double pole single throw or DPST switch is like two single pole throw single throw or SPST switches operated by the same actuator. Notice that although the double pole single throw switch has two contacts, it is called a single throw switch because there is only one single position where the contacts are closed. 
This knife switch has a single pull or single moving contact and two throws or two contact positions. It is called a single pull, double throw or SPDT switch. This is the symbol for a single pull, double throw or SPDT switch. Here it is drawn a little differently. This knife switch has two moving contacts or poles. It also has two stationary contacts or throws. It is called a double pole, double throw switch, abbreviated DPDT for short. It is like two separate single pole, double throw switches operated by one handle. This is the symbol for a double pole, double throw or DPDT switch. Again, notice the dashed line indicating the double pole, double throw switch is like two single pole, double throw switches operated by the same lever. Again notice that although the double pull double throw switch has four contacts, it is called a double throw switch because there are two positions where the contacts are closed. The word throw does not refer to the number of contacts, but the number of positions where contacts are closed. In part two of this video, we will look at some more types of mechanical switches.